Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a try on haul. I have a pretty little thing package, boohoo and misguided. I will also have a Gymshark one, but that's not supposed to come for another three days, I think. So when I do that, I will record it separately and I'll probably be wearing different makeup. So just ignore that and yeah, let's get on with it. So just to point out, I'm just saying my size is because when I watch haul videos, I want to know what the size is of the person who's like doing it. So I'm like, will this fit me in that size or will it look good on my body type? Yeah, people are just offended nowadays and you just can't say anything. So I'm just putting it out there that I'm not being rude. So so I haven't opened any of them yet, so I'm going to be opening them on camera and trying them on on camera. This one feels weird, like there's a box feeling in it and all I've bought is clothing. So I'm really confused, so I'm going to open the misguided one first. I'm very bad at opening. Oh my god, I have cereal bars, <laughs> that's what it was. Oh no, it's cereal! <laughs> Sorry, I, I love cereal and I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> Both items from misguided were size 8 and the first thing I got was this striped jumper. It's like a knitted material and it's in lavender and white and it looked really cute. I saw like two Instagrammers wearing it so far and I'm like, oh my god, I need that. So this is what it looked. Whoa, that's thin. That is thin. Is it stretchy? Yes, very stretchy. That worried me for a second. It, it's looking kind of see-through against my ring light, but I've got a slip anyway, so I can just put it underneath it. But yeah, it looks good so far and I'm just going to try it on now. So this is the dress. It's really cute and really, really soft. It's quite thin though, which is good for me because I get really hot. Um, especially today, it's like 20 degrees. In England, that's hot, okay? So I saw another YouTuber wearing this and I think she's called Pretty Castle Please. And I was like, oh my God, I need that. But she looked amazing in it and I'm like looking down and I'm like, I don't look as good. <laughs> So like I'm just kind of self-conscious about the belly area because it's quite a fitted dress. The length of it's really nice, but also I've um, got a bow on my uh, pants and you can see the, the um, indented, like the, the mark it's making and I kind of have a little penis now, so um, yeah. Other than that, it's really cute and I really like it. I really love the high neck. I love high necks so much because it gets rid of my double chin. No, I do just really love high necks. And yeah, it's just like so soft and comfortable and would be like a really cute like winter outfit. So the next thing I got from Misguided were these pair of trousers, which are very long. They have those frills at the bottom that like, you know, kind of open at the side that like everyone's wearing at the moment. They're in a baby pastel blue. And they're like a really cute colour, but they're quite thin material. Again, I can't remember the price of these and it doesn't say. They are a size 8 again, so yeah, let's try these on. I'm wor really worried about these because I'm not sure if they'll suit me, but yeah. I bought them to see if they would, so let's try them on. So I've put on the blue trousers. I am pleasantly surprised. I really thought I would hate them. But they're actually really nice. They're like super fitted and like super tight and I'm expecting you to probably see like the pant line but then just wear like a seamless pant. But other than that, they are like really cute and I'm happy that the size like fit me. Um, yeah, you definitely have to wear heels with them because these parts here are like really long. So unless you were tall than me, like probably like 5'10", you'd probably get away with it but I'm 5'6". So I can't really get away with wearing it with flats, otherwise I just like kind of drape on the floor. But yeah, I just kind of want to shimmy. So the next parcel I'll be opening is Boohoo. And there's no feeling of cereal in this one, which is disappointing. But um, I remember what I ordered, a skirt, a cardigan. I own like no cardigans, so that's why I wear a cardigan. And also a green dress and it looked amazing. So yeah, let's open it. Boom. Oh, that's cute. It's really preppy looking. So this is the cardigan. It looks like really preppy looking, but then it also looks like something my granddad would wear <laughs> at the same time. So yeah, it looks really cute. And let's try it on. Also, that cardigan was in a size small. So I have a slight problem with skirts. Like this skirt's like a size six or an extra small. And I've got skirts upstairs that are size eight. And then in like denim type material, I'm normally like a size 10 because my hips are so big. But then my waist is quite small, so with skirts it's really awkward. So with this I got a size 8 and I'm just kind of hoping for the best. So this next item is a navy blue denim skirt. It looks tiny. Oh my god, is this petite? Did I get something from the petite range again? I always do that. I always accidentally buy petite things. <gasps> that looks tiny. Oh, okay. 
Well, let's see if this actually fits. So yeah, it's got buttons down the front and it's very short. It's nice, nice material, but I'm worried it won't fit me because I'm, I'm a fat ass and I've just eaten loads of sushi, so um... <laughs> so I've put these two together because that was my idea when I saw them on the website. I've put this off the shoulder because that's how the model wore it and she looked really nice like it. The skirt does fit, it's super stretchy, like I, there was no need to worry there. Um, and I've got this tucked into it and this is like quite thick actually. Well for me this is thick, I don't like thick material. Yeah I really love both items and I like them both together. Like I think it looks quite preppy. Last item I got from Boohoo was this really nice green dress. The colour is coming up really different on camera than in real life. It's a lot deeper coloured in real life. And on the website it was a lot lighter like how it shows on the camera. But yeah, anyway, I still like it. It's got a really nice high neck. It's in a size small. So I'm unsure of how the top half will fit because um, I've got no boobs. Um, yeah. So it's also got a tag on that says Vera and Lucy. So I don't know if that's like another brand that they carry. But yeah, let's try this on. So yeah, I really love this dress. It's really like expensive looking, I think anyway. Like the material is so nice. And I love the sleeves. It's kind of like an oriental like shape. And I really love the material. It's so pretty and I love the neck, of course. The only problem I have is there's a bit of extra material here. That's my fault because I've got no boobs. Um, yeah, the skirt's a nice length as well. I've only got one problem with it and it's that I look quite old. It's like a more of a older person's dress. And when I say older person, I literally mean like pretty like by 10 years. But I dress in like cutesy Japanese clothes all the time. So um, I do dress like a child. But yeah, I actually really love this. So the next thing I'm going to open is Pretty Little Thing. I think I bought three items from there, so yeah, let's open it. So these are the gingham trousers. They have a really cute frill on the bottom just before the ankle. I am kind of worried because these are a size 8 and I'm like a 8 to 10 in trousers. So like I'm like unsure because of my like figure skating thighs. Um, that's just an excuse to say that my thighs are fat. <laughs> yeah, so the size that I'm a bit worried about because it looks a little small. But other than that, it's a really cute pattern, but the material is a bit thin, like I was not expecting it. Like, I'm putting it up against my ring light and I can see, like, straight through the white bits. But let's just see how it goes when I put them on. So, this next t-shirt I really loved on the website because it had, like, a fluffy, like, pattern on it. And I really love the stripes and the black neck. So, yeah, I'm excited to open this. This is what the top looks like. It's so cute. I love it. The only problem is it's, like, so thin. Like, the material is actually quite see-through. I do love the, like, lettering of Paris on it. Although, you can't really see, like, the holes where, like, the R is. It's all kind of bunched together. But, like, maybe if I, like, brush it apart, it'll look better. But, yeah, it's also in a size 8. But, yeah, the only thing I have wrong with it is it's a bit thin for, like, £15. Like, I was expecting it to be a, like, bit thicker for that price. But... Let's try it on and see how it looks. I put the last two items from Pretty Little Thing together. They kind of clash, but kind of in a cool way. I'm embarrassing, ignore me. Um, but yeah, I like them both, but they're my least favourite items out of the whole thing. So they're good. They're good quality and stuff. They're fine. It's just the rest was all nicer to me. Um, so let's start with the top. The top is nice, but it's thin, extremely thin. Now, you see, this is meant to say Paris. You can't really see because, like, the dots are missing. And then to the trousers, they're tight. They are super... Like, I feel like my belly is being a bit bulgy. And my thighs, my thighs feel... Like, they feel big. Okay. <laughs> One thing that's really cute, the frills. The frill... I'm, like, holding myself against the wall because I'll probably fall over. Um, the frills are super cute. The last item from Pretty Little Thing is this really cute play suit. Now, I don't like play suits because I think I look weird in them. But this looks like a dress, so I think this will work really well. It's a bit see-through, but hopefully that's just because my ring light's really strong. But, yeah, it's like a wrap front here, which I'm hoping my chest isn't too small for because I actually really like this. The material isn't as bad as I expected, to be honest. It's actually really soft. So yeah, I'm really excited to try this on. But yeah, this is really cute. Reminds me of when I used to do ballet. I'll insert a picture. It looks exactly the same, I think, anyway. Um, but yeah, it's like so cute. Like the shorts come out like right here, so it kind of looks like a skirt. It's like so breezy as well, like lightweight. So like if you wore it when like in the summertime, then it would be like perfect because you wouldn't like overheat in it. Only problems I have are it feels quite short. Like if you were taller than me, 
I'd say don't get it because your bum will probably be popping out. That's one for you, Ariel, if you watch my videos. I don't know if you do. Um, other than that, yeah, the boobs are trying to escape because I still have quite a bit of room. I will show you, but it's kind of popping out, so I have to stand up dead straight to keep it in place. But yeah, other than that, it's so cute and I love it. So it's the next day and my Gymshark parcel has came. I also went to Primark, so I'm gonna put that in here as well and do a bit of a Primark haul. I didn't try on any of the stuff while I was in there, so I can try it on here. Um, I'm also upstairs in my very small cramped room because my mum is taken up the downstairs by watching Pretty Little Lawyers. So here's the Gymshark parcel. I'm gonna open it now. Ow, it's one of those ones that sticks. Ow, my elbow. And so for the leggings and the top, I got a size small in both of them, so I hope they fit. I've heard that you have to size up in the leggings, but I got a small anyway because I've read the measurements and those were my measurements, so I was like, let's just risk it. So I needed gym clothes because I needed the clothes for skating, and my previous leggings have ripped on like the back here. So uh, yeah, I needed some that were good with stretching, so I know these are yoga pants as well, so I know that they'll be good for that. So here's the first thing I got from Gymshark. I got a t-shirt, which is this, and some leggings. So let's open the t-shirt. So this is the top. It's in the colour petrol blue, and it's a small, it just says Gymshark on the front. And yeah, it's just a simple gym t-shirt. And you could just wear it anywhere really, but it's quite stretchy, so it'd be good for like exercising in. So yeah, let's try that on. Let's get the leggings out. I am really excited about these leggings. So these are the leggings, and I'm really excited about them. They're in the shade Deep Teal slash Ice Blue. And yeah, let's get them open. So yeah, I'm gonna try these on and hope that they fit me because they look tiny. <laughs> So this is the top on, it's really nice. It's not too loose and it's not too tight either. It's like an in-between fit. Just says Jim Shark across the chest. <laughs> able to get my face in the camera because I don't have enough room in this room so yeah it's just gonna be the bottoms so these are the leggings on they fit really nice like they're not too tight or anything they just like feel really nice like I'm figure hugging and this is the band to them just says Gymshark and like I really like the pattern like on the back because it kind of makes your butt look a bit bigger I mean you've got a flat pancake bum like me you kind of need it so yeah these are like perfect and yeah I'm keeping these definitely so yeah I also went to Primark today and got a few bits, so I'm gonna show you that on this video as well. So I'm just gonna be showing you the things I'm not gonna be trying on on camera because there's no point because they're a pair of socks. Um, yeah, they are Harry Potter socks and they've got all the Hogwarts houses on and especially Hufflepuff, my house, the best one, of course. So yeah, they're just the socks, four pairs of socks will be useful for skating and yeah, not much to say about socks really. So. I also got these tights, which I saw when they first came out and they were £3.50 and I was like, I'm not playing. £3.50 for one pair of tights from Prom at nowhere and they went down to £2 so I'm like okay I'll have them so they're basically just like normal tights and then they go to fishnets here it looks really cool so yeah I've worn them for a while so now I've got them also got some bubbles that kind of look like scrunchies but like mini scrunchies so they're really cute and also useful for skating again and they come in grey, pink and navy blue and they were £1.50 the favourite things I bought today is actually a pair of pyjamas they are Angelica pyjamas from Rugrats and they're so cute, they're pink and frilly at the bottom. And then there's also shorts to them which which look like this. This set was £8 and yeah, I don't think I need to try it on because I know it will fit me. So yeah, just to know I've got pyjamas. Let's start with the things that I'm actually going to be trying on. And first up is this top. I bought it in a size 8 and it was £5. It says Moncherry on it. And my boyfriend likes to say this to me in a jokey like French accent all the time. So I got that literally just for him. It's got a high neck, and I'm unsure if that high neck suits me, I'm, I'm unsure of that, so yeah, let's try this on. So this is that red manchurie top, it's fine, it's nothing really special about it, but for the price it's really good. It's really nice material, it's got that look, kind of like lettuce hem at the bottom again. And then the writing's really nice, the only problem I'm having is that it's kind of bunching up near my armpits. Now, I don't know if that's because of the size of it. This next top I have is a stripy top with, I think it's called a lettuce hem. Look, you know when it like frills at the bottom and on the sleeves? It was £8 and I bought this one in a size 6 because it looked quite big. Um, and I think it was £8 because it's got the Rolling Stones logo on, which I don't mind because I like the Rolling Stones. But like, I've got another top over there that's literally the exact same style. And it was like £5, so confusing, but I think it's just because of the, you know, logo, the branding, so yeah. Let's try this on. This is the top one, and I prefer this one to the pink one. I don't know why, I just like the colours in this one better, which is weird because I really like pink clothing. And it's annoying because this one is £3 more expensive because of the Rolling Stones logo. 
But yeah, I like it anyway, so I'll probably keep this one and take the pink one back because I don't need two of the same t-shirts. Uh, the only thing that's annoying is the length that these come to, like, especially when I'm wearing jeans, like, I've got this one tiny bit of belly out. I really think I should have gone eight, though. Like, I feel like this is too small. So, the next top is similar to the other one. It's literally the exact same, but a different colour and doesn't have the Rolling Stones logo on. So, yeah, it's just pink and white. Showing up a bit purple on camera, though. Yeah, it's the exact same, except it's five pound. And I got this one in a size 8 because it was the only one left, otherwise I would have probably got a size 6. So this top's really nice, it's just really simplistic and I really like the colour of it. And the stripes are really nice too. The words you can barely really see but anyway, it's like really cute and it literally could go with anything like with just like jeans like what I'm wearing now. This next top I have is a bardo top and it was £4, like which is amazing like for like a really cute simple bardo top. It's just red and then like it's got white here and then on the sleeves and the bottom. I bought this one in a size 8. So this is the red bardo top on and it is really pretty and like really elegant looking. For like something that's like £4 it's amazing. But yeah this will be really good for holidays or just like for any time really. The only problem is it's slightly tight but I think I've just got maybe wide shoulders or something because all bardo tops are like really tight on me. But yeah it looks really pretty and I love it and I really love the colour of it too. And the last thing I got from Primark was this shirt dress. It has a brown belt with it as well, but I'll probably put my black belt around it anyway. And I bought it in a size 8, and it was £12, which I don't really mind the price, it's just a shirt dress. The ones I was looking at on ASOS were like £20, so it's quite thin actually. But um, I saw this other YouTuber who had a Chloe shirt dress, and I was like, oh my god, it looks so nice. And obviously it's Chloe, it's super expensive, I'm like, yes, so uh, I'll just go have Promark and do all my Promark stuff and try and recreate her look that she did. So, yeah. This is the dress on. It's really nice, other than the fact it's basically see-through. So I put, like, a slip underneath it, so it's fine for that. The length is quite short, so if you're a bit taller than me, you might not be able to wear this because... It is quite short, but other than that, it's really nice. I hope you enjoyed that video. I did actually like everything that I tried on, but a few things were just a bit like tight and stuff. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Ooh. I've just been filming that whole section with my zip undone.